fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 49. Today is March 24th, 2019. I have works in progress, I have a purchase, and I have some knitting. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice, water for me, your craft of choice, and let's chat. This week, well, this week started the renovation of our upstairs bathroom that started on Wednesday. The demolition is done and hopefully they will be starting the drywall and mudding tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I was very fortunate that little man did not come on Friday because they were doing electrical work and still some little bit of demolition and it's still a little dusty so I'm I missed him like crazy, but it was probably a good thing he wasn't here. Yeah, because Grandma's trying to keep up on the dust, but if anybody has gone through renovations, you know, everything gets dusty. Yeah, everything. But other than that, spring is coming with a vengeance. It's warm, melting. Our roof is almost devoid of snow, at least the sunny side of it is the other side not so much but that's okay and the roads are squishy and smushy with slushy ice and snow so it's melting it will be soon enough and we will have summer warm weather and wonderful times outside but you're here for the stitching so let's get on with it what did i work on this week so Mira Monday, of course, is Lady of the Flag, which I am working on a 32 count preamble. And let's see, I got some more, I got the flag completed. I didn't do a lot of stitching on Monday, but the flag is all done and I started on the rest of her robe or her dress or whatever you want to call it, but there it is. So yeah, I'm glad I got the flag is all done and uh, we'll go from there or at least the red and the white is all done okay Put that all the way and then I grabbed this bag which has houses the um, romantic rose garden mandala by Martina Weber of Chatelaine Design and this is just on a 32 count weight that I got from European Cross Stitch. And I got up to the top. So this is the top corner. And I filled in some more of that other little corner there. So this one was fun. Getting up to the top and I would do one length of black and then do another color. And that's what I'm going to do because that whole outside rim is black. There's a lot of black in this one. So I'll do a skein or a, a thread of black and then a, another color. That's how I'll make that. And then I grabbed the uh, Hannah Sanderson 1849 sampler, which I'm doing on a 32 count coffee dyed fabric that I, fabric I dyed by myself and I put some of the flowers in so I decided to go ahead and just do a page at a time now so and do trying to do color completion on that page so that's where I'm at on this but this is it's gonna be a pretty big piece This is fun to stitch as well. Fun, fun, fun. All right. And then I grabbed this bag, which is the Mummy's Moonlight Cafe by Praiseworthy Stitches. And this one is on a I know it's on a Haunted Belfast by Picture This Plus. No, I'm sorry. It's it's Haunted Cashel by Picture This Plus on a 28 count. And this one would have had more work. But as I was going, I realized that the moon, 
I had missed a whole row of the moon, so I frogged it all the way down to here and had to restitch the whole moon. So the moon is done, and I started on a ghost. And then I also put the top bit of this tree right here. So that's where this one's at. And it's going to be a pretty good sized one. I really like Haunted a lot. A lot, a lot. And then I worked on one more project this week. And I pulled out the Nora Corbett Wisteria. So this was my Wisteria weekend. And this is on a 32 Camp Morse Blue by Weeks Dye Works. And I worked a lot on her dress. Since I didn't have the little man on Friday, I... Uh, Worked a little bit on the Mummy's Moonlight Cafe, and then I just started working on this as well. So Friday and Saturday, I got quite a bit of the dress done, or a good start of the dress. So that's where that's at. So this gets put away, and Petal Fairy comes out for next weekend. Or actually, the yeah, next weekend and the 31st will be um, the Halloween Quaker by Lila Studios. So... Wow, I'm going really fast today, sorry. That is what I accomplished stitching-wise this week. Um, uh, knitting, I will do knitting and then purchases. I pulled out the Autumn Tam, designed by Sandy Blue. And it is with Jameson Spindrift. And I did a little bit more, like maybe two or three more rows, I think is all I did this week because I cast on my Venetia. I didn't bring it down. I cast it on the Venetia and I had started it at one point and I took the gauge and it was the proper gauge for the wrist and I did the waist or the bottom of the sweater because it's bottom up. And as I was taking it from the size 2.75 and going to a 3.0, 2.75 to a 3.0, which is a 2.5 to a 2.75, something like that, or, or 2. It grew 7, no, it grew 8 inches. 8. There is no way that that sweater would have fit me at all. It would have been huge on me. So I had to frog the whole um bottom band and I haven't started it again I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do if I'm going to go down to a, a 2.5 which is a, a one and a half and then going up to a 2.75 which is a two the smaller two I'm not sure yet but I was a little upset about that and if I do that, I may even have to drop a size, go down a size in this, this sweater size itself. So I'm still thinking, but that made me very sad because I knew, you know, my gauge was right on the wrist and I even checked the gauge while it was on the needle. I spread it out, I looked at it and I checked the gauge again and it, they do grow a little bit, but that wasn't even with washing. I could imagine that that would have been like eight and a half inches too big <laughs> and that's way too much so yeah I'm gonna have to drop I think I don't know I don't know if you got any suggestions for me leave them below in the comments and thank you so much Bev for your comments and um, I really need to get better about comments uh, answering my comments and I will do that I will do that I will I will I will so that's what I did for knitting <sighs> not too much and uh, now purchases I had a friend contact me last Saturday and I didn't see her con her uh, message until Sunday morning and I went oh darn I wish I had seen this because I would have said yes you know buy it it was boxes of DMC for three dollars a box well they're full of DMC colors 
So she said, well, I'll go back and see if the lady has still got it, and she did. But this time, I got a big thing of DMC. So there is some pearl cotton in there and some regular DMC, still not bobbinated. But there is eight boxes of DMC for $10. I finally hit the mother load. <laughs> it was wonderful. So I got them and there is some Krennic in here as well. So this one has Krennic in it. And they're not full bobbins, but you know what? They still work. Whoops. And then I dropped. Something just dropped on the floor. But there's the gold and, and there's other little clinics and then there's some bul bulger bulger not sure blending filament but I am so excited to sit here and spend some numbers This one, one last box. So, yeah, I was very excited to see this. And what I'm planning on doing is putting it in with my other, oops, here we go, putting it in with my other stash. So, that stitch goes to towards Stitch from Stash. So at the end of this month, I have $63 in the good for Stitch from Stash, and I'm really happy about that. So I went to Michael's yesterday, no, Joanne's yesterday, and they had a, these were 40% off, and then the 20% off the total coupon was almost like buying one and getting one free. So I was very happy to see that. So I'm going to take all of the ones, I have two up there, these two, and I'm going to integrate all of the floss that I have into those. And these are going to be the used floss, and then I'll have one set of my non-unused ones. So I'm really excited about integrating this into my my uh, stash. So, looking around, that's all I have for you, and it's only 13 minutes. I'm sorry, guys, that this is so short, but it is what it is, I guess. So, I hope that you guys have a great week, and I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. I'll see you next week. Bye!